Another video about sex? Let's do this. place to be what's going on it's me it's me ah uh, this should be a sexy one except it's for my friends over at top tens with z and the last time we did a video that i thought was going to be all sexy and whatnot it was more educational than a little sexy and whatnot so we're going to see what top tens has to say about the top 10 myths about sex top tens net let's see what you got starting right now Hello, you're watching Top 10's Net, I'm Simon Whistler, and in the video today, we're looking at Whistler! the myths about sex. Take a sip every there time he's- There's a lot mm. of sex talk out there, but there aren't just as many fallacies finding their ways between the sheets and- Take a sip every sheets. time he says sex! Now we all know that the size of a man's appendage versus his outer extremities, hand, head, foot, has no proven correlation, and nor does the act of self-gratification stand to make one go blind. There are, however, several myths that have not been publicly chastised for their ridiculous nature and are often still believed to be truth rather than fiction. In the video today, we're looking at those top 10 myths about sex. Mm -hmm. The top 10 myths about sex. Uh, Number 10. A cold shower dashes the libido. No, it doesn't. A cold shower has been said to curb peak sexual appetite, simply Just makes by you reducing cold. the amount of testosterone <laughs> levels in men and estrogen levels in women. There is simply no proven basis for this belief, and in fact, an English study for thrombosis has shown that a cold shower actually stimulates libido by increasing hormone levels. The end result is even more sexual excitement than was first started with. Take heart, all the anxious ladies and gentlemen, as I hear a ball peen hammer and wooden plank still does wonders for destroying one's sexual appetite. Number 9. The Power of a Lover's Stare the power of a lover's stare has been written in romance novels ever since an ink pen was first laid to a piece of parchment. True lovers have been said to have the ability to stare into each other's eyes for hours on end, falling in love again and again without ever growing tired. However, what has actually been found in studies is that staring at your lover has about a 50-50 chance of promoting feelings of love and passion. The other 50% of the time, it promotes aggression and annoyance, which has been <laughs> documented in a couple of studies as fighting and arguing. I guess it's true, all is fair in love and war. Number 8. Sex during the final stages of pregnancy a lot of expectant not really a sex express myth, fear though. of hurting their baby during intercourse, especially during the final trimester. So stupid. However, most research today not only shows that intercourse is completely safe for the child, but it can actually promote a healthier, speedier labor and How delivery. About it's That's an right. old wives' tale that sex is bad for the fetus once it's past a certain stage of growth. Many doctors say that you should be able to have a healthy sexual relationship with your partner right up until the day of delivery. Right? You can chalk much of this myth up to a man's over-exaggeration of his unit. Number 7. Thinking of someone else during sex is a bad sign for a relationship. Plus, the idea that Did once a woman is pregnant, she's all of a sudden... of all sexually active folk more. in the world think about someone else during sex with their partner? It That's is actually a completely like two natural two different sexes. That's like two different sexual right relationship. Now, okay. The majority of folks think about friends, neighbors, or co-workers, while a slightly smaller percentage, 25% of Canadian men, prefer fantasizing about imaginary characters. Everything from Betty Boop to the Lone Ranger has run through the minds of countless lovers over the decades, and should not be considered an indicator that a relationship is headed for the rocks. Number 6. Women in Fast Cars – A Modern Myth if you were to ask a woman today if she was turned on by the growl of a big engine, she would probably scoff at the thought. In so, fact, in light of the popular green movement, it is now popular for women to prefer men who drive environmentally friendly vehicles, such as the Toyota Prius. However, the recent study says differently. So back to the past, man. It turns out that women show I substantial increases in sexual arousal. I did start drifting off during sex with my high school girlfriend saliva once when listening because to the it got to the point where I think we were on our way out. This is compared to a low-performance Volkswagen VW Polo. In fact, the VW actually decreased the arousal of the women below that of the baseline of watching the nerdy scientists test their equipment before the study began. Talk about an anti-aphrodisiac. Number 5. Inbreeding produces babies with three heads. 
While considered a no. joke, inbreeding has been said to cause everything from a baby with three heads to mutant X-Men. In truth, while inbreeding should not necessarily be considered a good thing, it's not nearly as bad as some people think. A 30-year Western Australian study looked at cultures who regularly practiced first cousin marriages and found no abnormalities in their offspring beyond that of what would be expected from any other traditional unrelated couple. The same myth also implies to inbred animals who are that was cousins, though. The species. That's Before, a little further race off. Is a good than, indicator of man's sexual you know, endowment. Some other While ones. some races have enjoyed basking in the limelight of these rumors, there is actually no yeah. scientific basis for this myth. While your cousin's friend who knew a girl who dated several professional basketball players claims that the myth may be true, a study from the Porterback Clinic, Royal Hallamshire Hospital, and St. James's Hospital say differently. The study found that a man's physical endowment has absolutely nothing to do with his race, creed, or color. It has much more to do with that haphazard toss of the genetic dye that came soon after that glimmer from our parents' eye. Number yeah. three, plentiful sex and the swinging single. While it is a common belief that once you get married, sex gets thrown out the window, most research suggests that married couples actually have more sex than the swinging single. This is mostly because couples living together are presented with more opportunities to have sex, anywhere from 25 to 300 percent more opportunity for sex on average. However, over the course of marriage, sex dwindles, leaving the frequency of sex comparable to that of a lifetime of living single. One way to improve your odds of having more sex is to marry multiple times. However, the stress of all those marriages and divorces just might toss you right into an early grave, leaving you with even less sex. Number two, sex every seven seconds. Or just never the common get belief married. By many women is that men think about sex at least one in every seven seconds. The truth is, men today are actually too weighed down with thoughts of success and finances to devote that kind of brain power to the subject. In fact, only half of men, 54%, think about sex once per day, according to the Kinsey Institute, while the other 43% designate just a few fantasies spread out over the course of a week. An abysmal 4% think about it just once over the course of an entire month. Talk about a grossly overinflated female chauvinistic rumor. Number one, premature ejaculation, PE, is an abnormality. No. no man has ever been proud to be deemed a premature ejaculator by his lover, but in truth it's more of a hardwired system for survival than an abnormality. The for, average male yeah. can last 5.4 minutes before liftoff, which was biologically pertinent to the population of the planet back in the early days. When faced with man-eating chickens, men had to get the job done quick. There was no time for flowers, song, and love poems. The threat of a Tyrannosaurus charging while in the throes of passion was enough to make him even quicker, which is why anxiety is still one of the leading causes of P.E. So I really hope you enjoyed that video about myths about sex. I would never have survived back <laughs> in the day. I'd have been dead, 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 dead. How did he go? Well, he was fucking her for like an hour, and like, of course he was gonna, of course he was gonna die. Like he's, he used to fuck for, for way far, far, far too long. Five minutes in and out is what you need. Otherwise, yeah, I'd have been dead. Oh, I'd have been so dead. I'd have been dead six or seven times. I'd have been so dead. Eight or nine. I'd have been dead. Dead, dead, dead. Yeah, <laughs> this is another list that wasn't as sexy as I thought it was gonna be, but. Educational, still a little bit sexy. Yeah, the we've gone over, over and over and over about the myth about race and and you know how hung you are and, and so on and so forth. It's all relative. One about marriage and the single life. Uh, yeah, I mean because here's the thing with being single. In order to have sex all the time while being single, you have to go out all the fucking time. Which means you have to be able to afford to go out all the fucking time to have chicks come over to your house all the fucking... You know what I mean? Like, that's that's part of that problem is you have to be out and about all the fucking time. But like they said, over a course of time, they said, then, 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 boom, down. And so, so, the myth isn't entirely untrue. It's not that as soon as you get married, it goes off a cliff. It's as soon as you get married, it's up here, and then it goes down, 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 down. Versus single, pretty much level all the way through, for the most part, depending on who you are and what kind of relationships you have while you're single. How about that? Uh, party people!
Am I wrong about this? Are they wrong about this? Do you think that some of these myths aren't myths? They are, though. Like, they're pretty straightforward and easy to see that there are that they are myths. Do you agree with this? Do you disagree with this? Do you disagree with me about anything that I said? I mean, it is, again, one of those videos. Uh, comment down there in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe, youtube.com slash surreal. That was a terrible drinking game. I went through like a drink and a half. That was a terrible drinking game. Like, share, subscribe, uh, youtube.com slash surreal469, little blue button on the right hand side that says support. You click the button, you'll be supporting. And that's not bad. Boom. Boom. Boom.